hi and welcome in this video i'm going to be showing you how to install and configure postgres sql on your system and to start that let's talk about database first so what is a database a database is a collection of information that is structured in such a way that it is easy to manage and to make this whole task easier i mean the process of managing and structuring of the data uh, we have several server that our services that have been created. They are called database management systems. And some of them include MySQL, Microsoft SQL, Postgres, MongoDB, and host of all others. So in this video, we're going to focus on Postgres and what exactly is Postgres SQL database. It is a powerful open source object relational database system. It actually provides very good performance with low maintenance effort because of its high scalability. I also want to mention that uh, Postgres SQL was the first database management system that implemented motivation concurrency control. That is to show the uh, uh, you know the, the strength of this database because it can run several versions in concur concurrently you know on the same server. Some of the highlights which we can see right here is that it supports a vast number of languages. It has advanced security features. It also has a geotagging support. One thing that stood out for Postgres, you know, there are many advantages, but one thing that we know it for is because is that it is the most advanced database. It has a lot of capabilities, a lot of features. It is ACID compliant from ground up. It's implementation is on c programming language i mean and when you install it you get what we call pg admin which is the postgre admin that is the user interface so let's just go ahead and see how to install this i'm going to switch to my browser now while i can give you the direct url to go to i would rather say go to your browser and just browse pros just a postgre postgres sql you know download this is to help you to also learn how to query and search google for things All right and you see this progress sql.org you can click on the downloads and right there you're going to see different innovations because it supports so many systems and languages and this is windows i'm after windows because this is what i'm using right here and you're going to see download the installer uh, this is going to take us to edb you're going to see the platform now enterprise database where enterprise db where we can then download it open source is open source meaning it's free then i have to click on my windows version depending on your own version it's not supporting 32-bit windows it's 64 and click on your version and when you click start downloading i have downloaded mine so now that you're done downloading i'm going to navigate to my browser uh, to my desktop where i have this application then i will have to install it double click on the installation file and here is the setup wizard so I'm gonna follow the prompt by click next I'm gonna select a folder to install it I'm okay with that folder I um, actually don't need the stack builder I, I need the server itself this is the UI that follows it the PG admin for is the GUI that you can use to interact with that server and command line in case you want to execute some command tags too so click next still that same folder for data it's going to set you have to set password right now that's for the Postgres super user called Postgres, that's the super user. So I'm going to set my password. All right, so I'm going to click next. This is default port, so leave it like that. That is listening on. Um, local for language. So um, it's okay. Use the default one. You don't really need. I can use default, which might be. Don't pick the default from my PC. Click next, then just click next is ready to install the installation started this can take a couple of minutes uh, you just have to be, be patient it's getting done now i mean it it, it took a couple of minutes uh, not that long maybe one or two uh, less than two minutes and it's creating shortcuts setting everything right now and also creating on the installer yep so it is done setup as finished installing postgres sql on my computer so i can click on finish 
wow so i have it installed right now and i can search for pg admin which is the interface that i can use to interact with it okay let's go here and say pg you can see pg admin right now which i can click on this is it right here is asking for root password don't forget there's a password that you set when you're putting this up so i'm going to put the password click on okay and there i go i have access to it right now you can see so you can see your servers at the left here i can maximize this you can do a drop down okay it's asking because you want to enter into that particular one so i have to put password again right so this databases you can see the feature here on this platform i so much love it you can do you can see on that databases i only have one here so we're going to create a database so how do we get a database sample i'm going to go back to my browser and show you uh, this link is already in the video description so similar to uh, uh, sakila in my sql database if you check my youtube channel you see those videos on how to install and configure SQL, my sql database uh, we installed sakila database as part of the sample database that came alongside with it but right here we have a duplicate of that table for postgre it's called let's call it pagila so it's pagila um, database and this is how to install it or download it so you have to click on this guy right here download postgre tutorial it takes you to that place where you can actually download it and this is the er that's the entity relation model where you can see the diagram how those tables are connected to one another and these are the different tables that we have in that database and what they cover more or less a, a tabular dictionary to tell you okay each table is what the covers and you can download it right here by clicking on this guy we should download the zip file for you for you you can also download the printable er diagram which i've also done get you closer to this database okay back to my desktop which is where i have the dvd renter that is the pagila data i'm just going to unzip it extra file here okay so i've extracted it and that is what you see dvd renter .tar, T -A -R, that is the database so i'm going to go back to my procedural here and i can create a database and call it pagila create a database I'm going to call it a uh, pagila maybe that's the database or call it practice within that i can create a table so I'm going to call this one practice that's going to be the name of the database i can put additional comment here the owner is actually the primary owner which is the postgres then click on save so right here i have practice this right click on practice and come to restore uh, you see you're going to see this error utility file not found is fine please correct the binary part in the preferences dialog okay great what you have to do is come to file go to preferences you're going to see binary parts just click on binary parts then locate postgres binary parts so these are different database server remember what we're using is actually 14 we have to select the part that you can find it okay so that's the bin part binary part you can click here to select and start navigating to it um right here i have to navigate the pro program it is not that easy for me right here go back up uh windows no i have seen program file see program files i'm gonna see procedure progress sql this is 14 this is the binary part yep this is the part so we're gonna click on select okay we have it here I'm gonna click on save so the binary part has been set if i come back to this practice and say i want to restore you see right there we are there so what is the format is custom water that's the format is actually custom water the name for the file i can also select directly where do i have this file okay it's good to place it here but i can go home go to my desktop because it's on my desktop so go to my desktop and from my desktop i'm going to see the tar file which is the dvd renter i'm going to click on it that is it i have it selected uh what's the role name um not you just put the admin well that's the postgres okay this is fine so i'm going to click on restore all right restoring is done it's successful so I actually don't need to do uh, anything there but let me just refresh so that i can see the table refresh then then just go to schema under schemas you're going to see schema one under the public 
you know uh, open it up you will see tables here is the tables when I click on tables you see these are all the tables that we have you know in that pagilla and for this table I can actually write a query against them as um, right now I'm on the table view I can click on this guy I can see select star from public address which is this guy called table um, yeah that's address table and you can see the result right here what did I do I click and select a particular table if I select category and click on this guy table view data it's just going to run the query for me right here I'm going to see the data and you can easily modify this query editor to whatsoever you want it to be all right okay thank you in the next video we're going to learn how to connect power bi to this data so that i can create visualization right from power bi thanks and bye